Hey Dan, I am coming to you from Wednesday, uh, June 26th, um, and this is a match league update uh, from our match on Wednesday. We were playing a team called the Old Goats. They're in second place, or we're in second place in our league. Um, they may be in first place now, they may be in third place now, who can tell? Anyway, um, we... We played uh, two men named Jerry and John. Jerry is 77. John is 73. They got to hit from the senior tees, which were anywhere between five yards in front of ours to almost 75 yards in front of our tees on the longer holes, which really is makes a big difference. Um, great guys. Super nice. Um, and uh, good senses of humor, which is always nice. So, I'm so sorry I didn't get any video on the first three holes, because, or first four holes, because, first three holes, because, four holes, four holes. Anyway, we started out on the 17th hole, this is dog leg left, par four, and Mike hits a really good drive, ends up in the fairway about 130 yards away, and I lost my ball, which is a good thing he did not. Um, we ended up, my approach was left of the pin, about three feet off of the green, and Jerry and John ended up taking a ball that was right of the pin, just on the fringe, but we were away, so we went first. We were about pin high, I hit a chip to about a foot, fantastic. So Mike steps up with his five wood, and he uses his five wood almost like he's putting, he mean he... When, when he's in a situation where he's on the fringe. Because it'll give the ball a little bit of pop and get it up out of the longer grass and allow it to then start rolling. So he hits it. Immediately I start trotting towards the far side of the green to collect the ball because he hit it so hard. He hits the pin dead on. Ball goes straight up into the hole for a birdie. It's like, what? We've had one birdie all year. Uh, John and Jerry have really good putts, but they don't make a birdie. We're one up. So we go to the 18th hole. Uh, again, Mike has this great drive. Um, and his second shot ends up about 50 yards from the green. Neither Mike nor I are able to get on the green. Here's one of the issues is that, especially when we were in the rough, is that um, when you, because we're playing best ball, you're allowed to you know move your ball and place it. And so, you know, typically you're going to place it up kind of on top of the grass and the rough. Um, but the issue is then you end up, you know, fluffing it where you hit too far underneath it. And that's what we both did. Um, Jerry and John were out of position after their drive and Jerry hit uh, a layup in front of the bunkers uh, to about 75, 100 yards. And then he hit his third shot to about five feet. So they were, looked like they were going to make a birdie. They ended up making a birdie. We ended up bogeying. So we're all square in the match, and we're all square, We're and we're sitting at um, even par. Mike and I. Um, now we roll over to the eight, uh, to the 10th hole, also par five. Mike and I both hit really good drives. We end up taking mine. Mike's second shot, this is on a par five, with his three wood, puts it to three feet below the pin. And Jerry and John, again, out of position after the drive, out of position on the second shot. They managed to get on uh, about 25 feet away from the pin. They both missed their putts for birdie, uh, which means we have two putts to win the hole. Uh, Mike misses it, but I make it when we get an eagle. It's our first eagle we've ever had. Um, and then we go to the 11th hole. Um, Again, we have a pretty good drive. They don't, um, but they're on the green. Um, and we're on the green, but we're a little closer. We're like 35 feet. And they're about 40 feet. And I end up making a breaking, slightly downhill putt for birdie. And they miss their birdie putt. So now we're two up and we're also three under. We've never been three under. So now we go to the 12th hole. This is the 12th hole that I talk and complain so much about. 
So that's Jerry there in the red shirt. I hit a pretty good drive. What? I mean, it must have been 225, but it just drifted into the water. Mike hit a drive that barely cleared the end of the um, uh, end of the tee box and just tumbled into the water. After we got done with our next drives, we ended up double bogeying the hole. I mean, it's just it's like, God, we do this every friggin' week. This also marked the end of Mike's driving prowess, inexplicably. Double bogey. Now we are one under. Um, we are also, only, now we're still up by one. Um, so now we're on the 13th hole, which again is the hole that we hate. It's got the water going down at the end of the fairway that crosses the fairway and splits it in two and the water up either side um, leading up to the green which is a bit of a dogleg left, and it sits left over the pond. This is the 13th hole. We do get a stroke on it after, uh, yeah. Those guys go first. They're over there in the rough. I, I, I think We're it's here. We have mostly water carry. Um, maybe if we got three strokes, we could win. Is it a two demon bag or a one demon bag? This is a six demon bag. Okay. Well, Dan, believe it or not, we both hit over and we're dry at two. We're not anywhere near the green, but... That's better than we usually do. Better than we usually do. <laughs> so we ended up, because it was mostly water carry and we weren't going to go for the green, we both hit essentially down the fairway and, and did not aim for the green. So we ended up with a really delicate chip over the sand, the, the bunker at the back of the green, because we were kind of past it, and trying to avoid the bunker in the front of the green, or worse, hitting into the water. I hit my, I hit a pretty good chip, but it just rolled, um, and it said like a two level green down to the bottom level and into the fringe. Mike hit a really good chip to five feet. Uh, we missed the putts, but they bogeyed as well. And since we bogeyed and we got a stroke, we won the hole. So now we're two up again with one, two, uh, one, two, three holes to go. So now we're on the par three, the island green. Uh, I'm over telling jokes to Jerry and John. And I completely missed Mike's shot. Mike has no idea where it went. We never did find it. Um, and, um, and so then it was my turn and I hit what I thought was gonna be middle of the green. It ended up just on the front. So the green, as it slopes down towards the water, then there's a bank and it just carried that bank and was sitting on the fringe, just on the very edge of the green itself. Uh, then John steps up and he hits his into the water and Jerry hits his and it barely clears the water and is stuck on that bank. I don't know how he's stuck on the bank. So they go first, they pitch theirs to about 10 feet below the hole and Mike and I putt, we get to about 10 feet. Uh, um, they ended up having to go first. They were away. They both missed. They bogeyed it. Mike and I had the chance to end the match right there. All we had to do was make this putt. Neither of us made it. We ended up both bogeying. Um, so we are still two up. Now they're dormy. John and Jerry are dormy, meaning they are down two with two holes to go. Um, we are currently sitting at one over. Um, our average is two over, so we have to at least tie our average to get bonus points. So we go to the next hole, it's a par four. I had a pretty good drive. I'm like 105 yards out from the front of the green, but the green is really sloped and you do not want to be long because then there's no way to hold the green on your chip back. And um, Mike hits his approach to the right of the green, back right, and the pin is bottom left. I hit my approach 10 feet, 15 feet short of the green, but right below the pin. We ought to take mine because honestly, it was a little better than trying to hit Mike's putt. Uh, we both chip and I managed to uh, duff mine and I'm like 15 feet away from the pin. Mike hits his okay. He's like eight feet away. Um, those guys putt. They're on the green, Jerry and John. They miss their putt, but they're in for a par. So now all Mike and I have to do is make this, one of us has to make this eight foot putt. We'll par, we will have the hole, we'll be two up with one to go and we'll win the match. Both of us 
missed like <sighs> so now there we are one up with one hole to go we're going to a par three they hit first they're on the back right of the green and the pins in the middle kind of on the left third right in the middle of the green it's just a flat green but it's it's also the ground's really hard and it's really hard to hold this green so Mike hits up, steps up and hits this like eight iron and yanks it dead right into the water. Oh, it's like crap, now it's up to me. I hit a seven iron at two bounces about two feet onto the green. Great, we're on the green, happy days. So here I am, right here on the front of the green, a couple of feet onto the green. And there are Jerry and John sitting way over there on the other fringe. And then we are, there's the pin. <sighs> so um, we're about 30 feet away and those guys are like 45 feet. So they putt, they end up like a foot away or two, no, three feet away, four feet away. All, we, all Mike and I have to do is putt and get close enough that it's an easy par, we'll win the match. We left our friggin' putts at least five feet away. And, um, and now it was a tense moment because we were still out. And I somehow made my putt. We win the match. Hallelujah. Couldn't believe it. One up. And um, we also met our average. We were at two over. So that was our match. And I'm sticking to it.